Well, good damn morning, Americans. Jericho Green here with you once again. Make sure you give me a follow on X, at Green underscore Jericho, and like and subscribe to my new channel, Green's House. So Kamala, the Ugandan nightmare, the politician who went horizontal so her career could go vertical, was on this podcast called Call Her Daddy. You might hear that and go, what the hell is that podcast about? <laughs> I know that's what I thought. So apparently it's this woman who gets celebrities on there and other people of note and they talk about sex. Some of the titles are, uh, there's one with Katy Perry. It says, Katy Perry. We talk about relationships and blowjobs. And there was some other girl. We're talking about blowjobs and anal and all this. They're all about weird sexual shit, right? Well, a blowjob is not too weird, but you know, it's all about sex. It's all about all the, the guests come on there and talk about all their their orifices that have been filled and how to put genitals in their mouth. So, and that's fine. If a bunch of consenting adults want to get together and talk about whatever, cool. That's part of being America. I don't care about that. If I don't like it, I'll stay away from it, as I have. I never watched an episode of that shit. Never heard of that shit until the Ugandan nightmare was on there. But being that Kamala is running for president of the United States, it begs the question, why in the hell would you go on a podcast like that? <laughs> What's the point? I, I guess she's going after a certain demographic, but that's so weird. Like, if you're running for the for president of the United States, why the fuck are you going on a sex podcast? For what? Is that the demographic you really want to reach? Are the people who are watching a podcast about anal? Okay. I mean, she said she was going to be a president for everybody. But that what a waste of time. That sounds like a real waste of time and effort for a presidential candidate to go on that type of podcast. But something she said, um, I didn't like it. It was an attack on the traditional family. And it's funny that we as Americans will take something that got us to the point where that we're at as far as our success and our abundance and our security and our way of life will take something like that, like the, tr the traditional family, and will turn around and <laughs> spit right in its face like Ace Ventura and Ace Ventura 2 when he went to the village. And that was how they greeted each other. They would spit in each other's face. He said, my, aren't I the popular one? But we take stuff like that and we turn around and spit in its face. It's like you're trapped in your, your vehicle. You're in a wreck. You're trapped. Here comes that firefighter off of that calendar you have in your, in your house. And he gets the jaws of life and he cuts you out. And he lifts you from the wreckage to safety. And you turn around and say, hey, put your visor up. And he puts it up and you go <clears throat> right in his face. So the girl who hosts the show um, asked her about a comment that Sarah Huckabee Sanders made. And I think it was, it was a stupid comment by Sarah Huckabee Sanders. But she basically says that, you know, her her she was talking to her daughter and her daughter said, don't worry, mommy, one day you'll be pretty. And she says, my kids keep me humble. And really, she should have stopped right there. But then she said, Kamala Harris has nothing in her life to keep her humble. You know, attacking the fact that she doesn't have any kids. And personally, I do want my politicians to have children. So you have an investment in the future. But it's just something stupid and silly to attack her on when there are when there's a plethora of other things that she's fucking up on. 
But she shows Kamala this clip and then Kamala goes into this little tirade about how, well, you know, this isn't the 1950s anymore and we're there are a lot of modern families now and, and families don't look like they used to. And What's that supposed to mean? What's wrong with how families were in the 50s? What's wrong with the traditional family? She didn't come from a traditional family. Maybe she views it differently. She doesn't have a traditional family. Maybe she views it differently. But don't look down your nose and talk shit about the, the ways of life and the traditions that got us here. Traditions aren't bad simply because they're traditions. Because something is old and has been around for a long time does not mean we need to get rid of it. Are we supposed to go grab our grandparents and send them up to Canada so they can get one of those death pods since they've been around for a long time? No. But that's part of it. That's part of the destruction of America is attacking the things that brought us here. Now, I think if it's not a traditional family, then something's wrong with it. Now, you might not have your birth mother and father. Maybe one of them died or your parents got divorced and you have a stepdad or a stepmom. I had a stepdad. There's nothing wrong with that because there's still mom and dad. But when you get away from mom and dad, it's not good. If you just have dad, I mean, will you be all right? Statistically, you will, but that's not the ideal situation for you, especially as a kid. And as the dad too, you want that help. You want that balance of mom's kindness and her, her gentle nature, her nurturing personality. Mom brings a lot to the table. Certainly, if you're just being raised by your mom, you know that's bad. Even Barack Obama told you how bad it is for you if you're raised by a single mom. Certainly, if you have two dads, something's wrong. Certainly, if you have two moms, something's wrong. That's not the ideal situation. The ideal situation is a mom and a dad. The traditional family, the nuclear family, and there's nothing wrong with that. We need more of that. We need more families with mom and dad. That's our downfall. There's too many families without mom and dad. Too many people putting the cart before the horse. Too many men going, ah, all up in that chick before you get married. The traditional family is what got us here and the traditional family is what will save us. We need more children in traditional families. We need to get our numbers up. They are allowing millions and millions of people to pour across our border, hordes of invaders, and the first thing they're doing when they get here is, ah, 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 all up in it, whether it be Chinese or Pakistani or Mexican, wherever they're coming from, however Haitian people sound. Wherever they're coming from, that's the first thing they're doing here if they don't come here pregnant already. If they're not waddling across the border already. We need to get our numbers up. The traditional family will save us. And for her to sit there and talk down her fucking nose at the traditional family is bullshit. What's a modern family? She said, families look different. What is a modern family? I don't understand that. I know the traditional family is, but what's a modern family? Because you can't, everything can't be fluid. Everything can't move around and flow, man. Some things need to stay the way they are. Some things need to be rigid. Some things need to maintain their rigidity. Everything doesn't need to be new and updated and it's not how it used to be, man. Burn it down. This is the new family. Remember that Beastie Boy song? It's the new style. We don't need that shit. Traditional families will save us. Sometimes you got to get back to the old school. Sometimes you got to get a retro. 
Check out the clip. Let me know what you think in the comments about what Miss Kamala the Ugandan nightmare thinks of the traditional family. And this is a modern family. But you know how it goes. I try to be done with the left, but they just won't let me. Please subscribe. Hit that notification bell because every time it rings, a piece of shit lefty cries. Utilize the Linktree link. Give me a follow on X at green underscore Jericho and like and subscribe to my new channel, Green's House. I am Jericho Green. Man, I'm out.